My What the Farage tonight concerns the border force. It really does. And what's been going on in Dover. So today, once again, the migrant boats are coming across the channel. This is footage taken in Dover Harbour this morning. There's Hurricane, a border force boat, as you can see, full of people now wearing the orange life vests and towed behind it one of those new boats that they're, 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 they're built just for one trip. They're 36 feet long. They can take 70 plus people. I think, I think the record so far, one of them had 83 people in it. So once again, today in Dover, it's been a busy day. We don't yet have the official home office figure, but, you know, it'll be in the hundreds again and it'll be in the hundreds again tomorrow. And it is an absolutely catastrophic failure of policy, a failure, not just from the Home Office, but from a border force who repeatedly tell us they are going to get this under control. Now, I was a great believer in life, and I'm sure uh, Monsieur Rowley, the former boss of the Stock Exchange, would heartily endorse this. I've always been a great believer that people should get paid according to performance. If they do well, you pay them more. You certainly don't pay them more if they fail at what they're there to do. And yet, we learn. I learned, and thank you, thank you to the sharp-eyed viewer who sent this in to me. And I have to say, I get so many things sent in to me by you, the people that I'm able to use on this show, because I can't possibly be across everything. So this was sent in. Amazing. The Director General for Policy and Strategy in the Border, Immigration and Citizenship System in the Home Office has seen his pay, ri pay ban rise by £10,000, putting him in the 140 to 145,000 bracket. The Head of Immigration Enforcement has seen his pay ban rise up to 125 to 130,000. And the head of Border Force has seen his pay ban rise by £5,000. So 10000 for the other two, 5000 for the boss, and they've completely and utterly failed in doing what they said they would do and helping with Pretty Patel to stop the migrant crisis. And I have to say, that drives me mad because people should be paid on results. It doesn't appear in the Home Office and Border Force that that works anymore. And there'll be more over the next few days on the border crisis. Oh, and there'll be more on the RNLI, who many now think uh, that I attacked last week here on this programme. Well, I didn't attack the crews and the amazing work they do. I did question why Border Force is now effectively using the RNLI as a branch. And indeed today, the Dover lifeboat was out picking up people. The RNLI should not routinely be used by border force. If there's an emergency, fine, you scramble the lifeboats. But they're being used routinely. Uh, and the whole system has become little more than a taxi service for mass illegal immigration into this country. Uh, and those of you who thought you could somehow bully me online on this are wrong. I am the strongest defender of the RNLI you would ever meet. I've raised money for them. I've campaigned for them. I don't want to see them being used in this way. Uh, and I fear that the institution itself, not the volunteers, but the institution itself, with their head office in pool, uh, with their pay, their pay packets ever increasing, has frankly become somewhat woke and out of touch with its original aims, which of course is simply saving lives at sea.